I started as a volunteer with GASA when I was about 16 years old. At the time, I was still undocumented and I had no idea what I was going to do when I graduated high school. I was able to get my work permit and go to the community college and let them know that I no longer had to pay out-of-state tuition. And that's all because of the work that GASA did to ensure that the Maryland DREAM Act passed during the time that I needed it. I think it is so meaningful that CASA is receiving the Heschel Vision Award from JOFJ because of the long-standing, very deep relationship between JOFJ and CASA that goes back more than 15 years. Some of the most marquee wins that have happened at the local and state level in Maryland over the past decade, those are campaigns that CASA and JOFJ have worked on together. The beautiful thing about working with CASA is that it's an organization where people come first. CASA members decide the priorities for the organization. I love when a CASA member comes in to share their story to a reporter, to a room full of people. And it is that story that convinces a legislator to rewrite an entire law book, and I'm proud of that. I had the opportunity to watch time and again as at the state level, CASA continued to employ that strategy of centering the voices of their members. I got to see CASA ensure that undocumented people in Maryland had access to driver's license to drive lawfully. I saw them ensure that those driving records were not accessed by ICE. I worked with CASA when they had the tremendous victory of ending ICE detention in Maryland. Partners from JUFJ, the Public Justice Center, and the Lawyers Committee, who make up the Executive Committee of the Renters United Maryland Coalition, have been extraordinarily helpful in pushing advocacy efforts through strong advocacy that Maryland renters, allies, and partners did in Annapolis. We are now able to have $14 million in access to counsel and eviction proceedings funding. El condado de Montgomery es uno de los condados eh, más diversos y más ricos dentro del estado de Maryland. Su diversidad eh, lo hace súper chévere para vivir. Identificamos esta necesidad que ellos no podían pagar la renta. Y desde este número base empezamos con diferentes coaliciones a organizarnos y a transmitir esta necesidad al Consejo de Montgomery. Y le llamamos estabilización en la renta. CASA was able to take the stories, take that smart policy, and wrap it all into an effective political strategy. That one pieces of that rent stabilization campaign that nobody thought that we could win. When I heard of CASA, oh my God, I jumped. I leaped to the opportunity to work with CASA to get something done because it's been needed for years. People deserve rent stabilization and if we need something put in action permanently, just as we have in Montgomery County. It's really hard to think of another organization that so embodies Rabbi Heschel's approach of working across faiths and identities through coalition with other people to achieve the ends of justice. Thank God for CASA. Because of the movement of CASA, I am ready to go on with the fight. Wheresoever take me, if it's for rent stabilization, I'm going. Wherever CASA take me, we'll be there. I am CASA.